in here. <laughs> Hey guys, it is your girl Nat here. I am back with a untraditional video on the channel where I documented what it was like moving into a pen. Enjoy. I guess. Hello. <laughs> I feel like the setup isn't it, you know? It's just not it. I am moving back to college in my new apartment. If you guys don't know, I'm a current student at Penn. I will link a couple products down below because I'm sure I'm gonna get some questions. So please go check it out. This is probably gonna be the longest video on the channel. So here are all the timestamps if you just wanna hop around. I love watching dorm tours. No, I will not let you know what dorm I live in just for personal safety reasons. Because it is a new apartment, I did have to buy a lot of stuff. My mom is so fantastic. And she was just super good at matching things together. Yeah, see like the colors yeah. match. And those, that doesn't. So I ended up going with this gold and silver color palette, a lot of white and some cream tones. Now, I also didn't know that my wall in my apartment was going to be orange. I feel like that's actually abnormal to have some sort of color in your room. Most rooms are typically just four white walls. So honestly, it was a happy surprise. Packing. Guys, let me tell you, it took me forever to actually pack all of my items. Two days straight of just packing my clothes, pulling out all of my stuff from storage. Packing is so hectic for me. It really is. So here is the black t-shirt fit today. The last thing I'm packing is this lovely TV and that llama. And then I have two sinks, which is great. So this is just like a one bedroom studio apartment that Penn has for its students. And I have a full bath, walk-in closet, and a kitchen. It does have AC, so I'm very grateful. <laughs> One great suggestion that my mom had was to make my bed and clean my bathroom first. Basically what this guarantees is that I will have a space to sleep and lie down if I get utterly exhausted. So before moving everything else in, highly recommend this. And I do also want to say I do have some products from Grove Made that I am going to show throughout the video. Grovemade offers highly crafted desk and home office workspace solutions. They're based in Portland, Oregon and truly offer high quality products to help you build your dream workspace. They truly make beautiful products and honestly, you guys know by now I wouldn't partner, let alone become an affiliate with a company if I really don't believe in their mission. They all just seem like such a wonderful family to be a part of. So I will list an affiliate link down below if you want to check out some products. And here you can see all of the products that I will personally be using throughout the academic year and I don't think I will survive without them. <laughs> anyway, they have everything from monitor stands to iPhone docks to notebooks to wrist rests. Grovemade really does it all, so please go check it out. And I can't wait to buy a little plant to put that here. I think that is the last thing I need to do. I am honestly so exhausted and I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish moving in today because I made the bed first, which I highly recommend. Little life hack, I'm going to take a nap and probably finish the rest tonight. I can't tell you how much more stressful moving was because I had to film everything while moving. So if you're feeling generous, my bathroom though because I really need to shower and I don't even know 
where my shower stuff is. So I'm sure you guys could have guessed, I did in fact find all of my bathroom stuff, which was super exciting. And then I started putting up these twinkly lights and I had enough to kind of go across the room on the ceiling, which is really cool. And I got them off of Amazon. The most annoying and frustrating part though was using these command strips and hooks. I don't know, I just hated peeling the backs off. It was really just a pain in the butt. So the following morning is when I decided to tackle my closet and just some other minor organizational things. And this ended up being the final result. I did bring my golden pathos down and I have this ongoing empty frame scheme. I absolutely love it. And there you can also see my Grove made products. The products really make the space feel so much more put together and lively. I absolutely love it. A lot of the stuff and furniture I brought, like my spice rack and my TV stand is actually thrifted or I got at a yard sale for two, three, four dollars. I actually went to Target. They were selling TV stands for $50. So if you're looking for some good life hacks, I highly recommend checking out flea markets, Facebook marketplace, any yard sales that's happening in your area. Also huge shout out to whoever designed the closet because honestly, I've never had this much space in a closet so that's nice. Other than that I think my apartment's pretty basic I would say. I have two sinks which is great. I have a bunch of storage, my cleaning supplies and other stuff. My bathroom holds all of my toiletries and I did put that cute little empty frame on the toilet just to spice things up in there. Absolutely love the curtain. My mom bought it for me and I think it looks great. When we move into the kitchen I do have a very very small kitchen and I make a lot of meals at home because I am vegan so the kitchen was kind of tricky to put together but one thing that really helped out was this spice rack on the other side and of course I also had to bring my lovely lovely toaster oven yes but the spice rack really helped with storage two cute little bins and a step stool to access the stuff on the higher shelf because i am a little short <laughs> i mean it's kind of eh, but you know what else could i am probably done with this space if you guys have any suggestions please let me know <laughs> and yes i decided not to get a keurig for my kitchen that was an interesting decision by me Last thing I want to point out and one of my favorite things is this triptych of all of these potted plants and this empty frame right above my TV. And over here, I honestly have no clue what to do with this space. All the picture frames I have in this apartment were either um, upcycled or I found on the curb. Nobody wanted them, but I actually really liked the empty frame look. Other things I need to bring back are some more plants. I'm such a plant lover. I'm just happy I haven't killed them yet. So all good, good vibes only, right? I don't know. Anyway, I really like this apartment. It's definitely a new tone for me because I really like the color teal and gray so I tried to go with a warmer tone this time around and I hope you guys like it. Please let me know down below what college you guys go to. I would love to hear from you guys as always. I'll see you guys next time. Love you guys!